Hi guys, Drummaker here, playing Pillars of Eternity, and I'm leaving off where I left off too, which is uh, yesterday. I met Mayor Weld, and he is in fact a nutcase. And uh, I'll see it done. It's finished. A few things here. Um, Why not? Okay, uh, so today I will be working my way to the uh, not that one, another the time and the tide. So you have to find the runes beneath Cade Nua for um, our, our uh, other guy. And I also have a conversation I can have here with uh, uh, it may be my fate too. It may, but very well knew his curse, for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these runes he mentioned. We may find something of use. Yeah. Oh, spiders, tons of them actually. Okay, let's send in the, the goat first. Go, my goat. Okay, we'll send in these guys after, and there's a decent amount here. Yeah. I'm going to send all my single target damage towards uh, the big scary spider. Then I'll possibly the ivory spider here. Ivory spiders are pretty terrifying as well. What do I have here? A speaker of restless. Oh, interesting. So that's a new talent that I've uh, accrued. Okay, so we've created a little bit of a... A... Uh, Lock in the door here, which is fine because I actually don't have that many melee uh, guys here. And uh, the fact that the guy was stunned actually allowed me to uh, apparently get a, a decent amount of damage in here. Let's see if I can kill off this dude real quick. Um, yeah, I'll keep him on that one. This guy will be on the big spider, big nasty spider. Okay, so I'm up to three, so I can cast a spell. So I will. Oh, he's dead. Jeez. Okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay, we gotta. There's a lot of doors in this in this place as well, and it might not be in this uh, cellar slash dungeon area. Just yet. Oh, we have uh, Quarrips. rips. Qua rips are probably one of the weakest things in the game. But I will treat them with the same respect I would of somebody who is actually powerful. Let's start here. Okay, let's get this guy over to here. I'm going to try and focus down this one here quickly. Following your lead. Following your lead. I'm a big goofball. God, he died so fast. Just like that. Got him. Huh? Mm, following your lead still. I'm sorry. Huh? I sound kind of like a Muppet now that I think about it. Okay. Some Austro-European Muppet. Okay, so we have a... Is that guy not dead? He's dead, okay. Uh, some sort of door here that's covered with magic. There's a heavy iron key. That could be a view slater. See, it says the shimmering wall of energy extends across the doorway like a curtain that repels forward movement. Interesting, perhaps the voice of the throne of stairs knows more. No, we will not be getting help from her just yet. We must explore and clear out all the ruins first. Okay, let's send it our goat first. He can stun the other one. Yeah. Try and get a good amount of. Focus. How may I help? Where, where, where is the ivory spiderling. Oh, jeez. There is a lot of freaking... What is this? A stone beetle? Oh, my God. This thing's getting worse. This is getting more dangerous. Okay. Jeez. Um, let me pull this guy back, because I don't actually want him charging in there and uh, getting dead sauce so easily. Oh, stone beetle got pulled. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to use some 
actual magic powers, I think, because this is not going to be an easy fight. So where's my dude at? I can't use this because that will... Um, I can use it here and this will cut through here. That'll be good. Um, yeah. I need her to use her... Uh, Actually, we'll use this one. Now, I can't have a mage tank, of course. Yes. Um, yes. Three hit points, so I can do things. Please. Can you move them over this way, actually? That'll hit both of them. Health is not doing so hot. I, I I don't have my lay on hands anymore, so I have to use the oh shoot, I'm all out of those spells. Uh Okay. I'm gonna use that spell to keep him alive. That'll keep him alive a little bit longer. We have one loose beetle here. We have to get rid of very, very quickly. So I'll use my fast attack guys in that. The Ivory Spireling can die. A wood Beetle and a Stone Beetle. Uh, yes. It's quite alarming. Okay, now the... Looks so like... Uh, yeah, the Ivory Spireling is now dead. Now the Stone Beetle. I do have the ability to cast a stun. Hmm. Or do I want the skeletons for more damage reduction ability? What is it? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So everything else is in order. Huh? Pull this guy out before he takes way too much damage. Not to alarm you, but I'm poisoned. Hmm? Now... Do I have a... Minor heal for these people? Perhaps? I don't think he'll be alive in time. Okay, he's back up. He's alive. We'll use our lasers on the stone beetle. And um, the stone beetle, the wood beetle. Okay, and everybody's fine. Nobody's hurt. Chance for all. So this gives us beetle shells. A new piece of crap that I can render. How may I help? The beetle shell. And yay, our goat's alive. So we have some kind of skeleton here. Spider leg. What do we have down this way? Jeez. Doesn't connect directly into uh, the other room there. So I'll have to do a bit of backtracking so I can 100% this wait, place. Wait. And... Ooh, a very, very large ivory spinner here. So I'm going to pull everyone back and throw my, my goat into the maw of the beast. Hey. And we'll send a stun off to this little ivory spiderling. Jeez, okay. Mid an attack, they did something else there. Oh, wow, look at the size of this friggin' spider over here. Ah! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Okay, that's scary. Uh... <laughs> that's a big freaking spider! Okay, that's like the boss of the area. A spider queen. I'm assuming this is the boss of the area. So, let's pull everyone back. Everyone currently has a little bit of damage. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Let's get her to cast her damage reduction spell here. Trying to 
Okay, now we can send everyone back in. Well, at least I have uh, the ability to cast a lot of freaking skeletons, so that's always going to be good. So I can kind of uh, slow down the path of the Spider Queen by doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's already casting. He's casting. Well. No, he's casting. Okay, I need this guy casting his skeletons as well. So we'll have dual skeletons popping up. Hopefully that's a thing. I assume I can only assume that's a thing. Hey. So I have two stuns, a few stuns available. Male stun the spear spider first. There we go. Now send the skeletons after the spider queen. This will give me a little bit of room to breathe here. It looks like the what is it? my friend is dead. What do we have here? The speaker. So speaks to the director. So a wheel attack. And so that can gain endurance. Okay, so I'll, I'll use this ability on him since I have it. And this is a, a heal that I can use as well, one per uh, per rest. So I'll be using that as well. I've already lost my uh, poor, poor little uh, uh, doohicker there. So let's get him over here. And we'll have him directly on the boss. Okay, I have none of those damages. Um, so the cone attack, what else do I have here? Dazzle Light. Uh, defeating their will, leaving them dazed. Hmm. Okay, I'll use this spell. I have a few more, three more shots of that. Did he just devour like all of my skeletons there? I think he did. And he looks like he's creating spiders, judging by the fact that some have just appeared out of nowhere. She, I guess I should say. She is creating spiders. Okay, so let's use this spell here. The speaker. Okay, and I can heal myself for endurance. I have to pull this guy out completely. Huh? This thing is... I think it has me webbed in actually. So let's send another attack in. Uh, this guy's got two chance, still not enough. Uh, make sure I have to use my heal on him. Didn't want to use it on him, I want to use it on my uh, more powerful dude. And let's get a good heal going on. And I seem to also have my threes, so let's get a stun on geez, the queen. And I really need to pull this guy back. Looks like it's just not going to happen. Uh, I can see some quick damage here. Skeletons will not survive. Uh, he's in a lot of trouble. Things are getting dark in this world. Okay, he's got one hit point left. I don't have much. This guy has got to get that stun off. I don't think he's in range actually. I think he's webbed. And that's probably why my one guy has been in, in trouble this whole time. Okay, so this is the Hail Mary, please. Yes! Except he died. <laughs> he suddenly died. And he died. Everyone just suddenly died. Frick. I think he must have had a poison cleave of some sort. Oh well, let's see what we got here. Uh... From the Spider Queen, we got ourselves some sort of sword. What kind of sword do we end up getting? A two-handed slow 17 to 24. Let's compare it to what we have. Um, DR reduction and fine. It's about the same. About, yeah, about the same. Not much of a difference there. Um, hmm. Yeah. I, I, Crushing lane, fine. Yeah, I don't. I think what I have is better, or just about the same. So I have no point in changing them up. 
What's up here? It looks like a dead end. It is, in fact, a dead end. Okay, I should probably rest. One of my dudes is, like, in red. And we have the creepies. The heebie-jeebie creepies again. And this is freaking weird. Okay, so we have some stairs up. I haven't really explored the whole basement yet, so I don't really want to leave yet. I still have some... I know there's some spor spiders to kill in here. A few more spiders. But I will... Uh, be eventually taking that route. For now, there's, I know there's at least some spiders here. I've seen them. See them. I can unlock that. 60 free experiences, and that leads us to the entry way. Send our dude in a battle. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I knew there'd be bigger spiders to, than this. Pull this guy back just a second, just so I can make sure he's doing melee damage, but not getting stomped by big giant nasties. Um, might be unavoidable. Ooh, he, that one guy's getting completely stomped in. Um, hmm. I don't want to use that spell just yet. Uh, let's use this one, the one that I can use multiple times. Just to kind of keep him from death, from imminent death. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, that sneeze came without warning. That was an unprovoked sneeze, if I ever heard one. So what do we have here? Well, a way around in a circle. Oh, we have wood beetles. Okay, I'm actually going to pull everyone out of this room completely. Kind of lure them. Oh boy, they're ranged. Okay. Just, yeah, just so I can have my, my tank kind of tank all that damage. And we'll just gun these guys down now. We'll be on this one. We'll have an area of effect attack right here. Hey. Yeah. What else do I have of value? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing of value here. Okay. High hit point targets. As long as it's only slowly dying, you move her up to get a heal. Why does he take so much more damage than he used to, I wonder? Poison! Poison. Okay, Wood Beetle is now dead. Okay. In my floor by floor analysis of this area. So, this door I already unlocked. So, let's open that so I have an easy way through. Uh, that's how I got into here in the first place. There's kind of a, a stone wall linking in here. Maybe there would have been some way to stop that. What is this? A ghost? A looter? Oh my. Well, we can't have room for looters in here. Boy, there's a lot of them actually. Uh, let's get. This looter down super quickly. Huh? Get him on him, the range guy. Actually, well, this guy's faster. I'll put him on, on the range guy. I will get our slow McSlow guy here. Um, on your word. What else yeah. do I have to do? Uh. Wow, that guy just died very quickly. Like exceptionally fast. Um, of course, during that millisecond, I only got one chance off, so I can't replace him with skeletons or anything like that. A gold packed knight. Jeez, these, these are not simple anythings at all. One looter almost dead, two looters almost dead. Let's get a 
mean hurting on that guy. And you can continue on that guy. And our, our Missipu can... Jeez. I don't know if I'll need the heal or not. I got rid of that guy. Excellent. Let's get a stun on this, uh, this knight here. He's a scary one. Okay, I'll focus on the knight. On your word. On your word. Yeah. Heals. Okay, I now have my three chants up. So I'm trying to make a better use out of my chants because I really haven't been making good use out of them. One hit point left. Shazam! Let's see what we have here. A hood and a nasal a nasal helm. Nasal helm. And there's a dead body up here. Uh, it has a frog helm and some moolah. Okay, well that was basically worth the trip around. I think I've covered the whole floor, uh, except for here, this magical place. I have to question the the Missy Poo uh, chair. I have to question the chair about this. Never thought in my life I would ever have to question a chair about these sorts of things, but that's the world that I'm living in right now. So, endless paths of Odd Nua level one. So, I'm assuming this is going to go down for quite a while. Let's go down to the next level. Talents can be used to strongly differentiate characters as they advance. Class talents modify existing class abilities or grant access to new ones that are not core to the class. The offensive and defensive and utility talents are available to all classes. Offensive being weapons, defensive being armor, utility. I have no clue what that would be. I've actually never seen them in the activation yet, the utility talents. I assume it's like heals and moderate amounts of damage. Things like that as we go to level 2 of a dungeon. Um, or not a dungeon. What the frig is this? This is the outside. Eastern Barb... Oh, suddenly these have labels. Oh wow, that is so convenient of them. So this is actually a, a secret shortcut to the spider boss? It's like your breeches, I beg your pardon? Nothing. Um, I said nothing. I actually have a talk menu for this guy. Expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in, I don't know, years. At least I got that out of it. Uh, what was it? There's rumors back in Gilder Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he turned against us and fought for Widewind. Been on my mind for some time now. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do too. He was right. I'm hearing claims that he died fighting for Rayad Saris, and that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. It didn't seem right what Widewind had in store for him. If he really was Aethys. So I could see if it was true. Or if he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Why didn't you ask for help? Guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a watcher. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. Really, I want to find out about my brother. I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should be starting with records. So why don't you? If there was anything written down about it, they'd have to be in Defiance Bay. They got an archive in that palace. Archive a visit with me? Well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. In there. Okay, so we updated that one. And 
we have a lot seems hard to speak. Give me acting strange. A crumbling castle, abandoned to memories, and an old man who can no longer tell them from reality. I'd say we've seen some rather strange things. And if Meerwald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. Uh, I don't know what to think. Perhaps the Fiance Bay holds the answers we need. Let's move on. Okay, so I got those conversations done, and maybe the hidden palace thing is under the shield. Maybe not. I'll talk to the the Missy Poo, the the chair lady, the sentinel, the, uh, the spirit in the in the chair. I can't remember her name is Guardian. I think it was Sentinel, wasn't it? Oh well, here we are moving up, and it is the steward. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it, but part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meerwald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? I always wanted my own keep, even if it's a little cursed. That it's yours, my lord. I cannot begin to tell you how glad that is. How good it is to know that the keep is in capable hands once again. I suppose I should mention, first that if you mean to travel to the Bind's Bay for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. The Eastern Barbican collapsed a decade ago, and Merwill never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before he became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to make it repaired, if it will is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it, for what I am, the, for the masters of the instrument. I would take time for far less than finding another route to the Bay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. How do I repair the prohibition? Meh, well, it's set aside some materials. Okay, we, we know that. What does being the master of Cairn will entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. Uh, so I'll get prestige. My risks. Meryl's curse was its own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence in the keep, or rather, far deeper, uh, at least such as the conclusion drawn from the place. Spirits still linger. Endless paths. Uh, the endless paths, death, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go. If you will go with me, whatever devils lie beneath, think to what knowledge we will find. Perhaps the master speaks, Adrian? Um. What are the endless paths? The endless pass of Odnua, that is named given the ladder beneath the keep. The Earl, he, well, he warned by the Glenfathom that the site was cursed, and there is an, a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Egwithin named Odnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed the endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels in with stone, soil and stone. No one living there knows how far down the tunnel stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasures. I promise Egwin Relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. Who is Master Bellow? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths. The Egwin tyrant, Adnua, some claims his spirit endures, or at least has laid curse to the site. I can't imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen while below the hand of great statue of Adnua constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnua himself. But I am not the master of Kainua. I am not the master. Of course you are. The keep would have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunately that they are so closely intertwined. 
If the master below is not dealt with, there will be always be a threat to the keep from within. I, I know it must take take in, but if you would remain, it would destroy the lord of his place. Then I would advise you to seek and Pope betray. I have other questions. Which is to leave. Okay. Let me know and see what repairs I can make. Um, so, um, geez, there's a lot of repairs that I... Wow, this is a really uh, thorough screen here. And there's events, there's hirelings, there's my roster of people. She's still level 3, unfortunately. She is not leveled up yet. And neither did my other people. Uh, so this is a very in-depth screen here. Let's purchase this. Um, apparently for 500 copper I can get that. Finished in two days. That one's just instantly complete. Main keep. Upgrade the main keep will repair your great hall, allowing visitors and adventurers to be able to your companions. Okay, so I have to one at a time, one at a time. And I do have other things I can get the warden's lodge. Okay, so that will be yes. something else. And that gives me a new quest called the Master Below, which has some relation to oh, go to the temple of Wodica. Did that change? Yeah, that changed. So, um, I finished the quest I was trying to do. Or did I? No, this is the one. There it is. Okay. Um, so, I, I wonder if there's anything up here like spiders or whatnot. I'm probably going to end this shorter than I wanted to. Might have to have investigating this fortress be of something else. Quest updated. Um, so this is just an empty room for now. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to do uh, exploring the rest of this keep uh, another time. The giant spider was probably the, the pinnacle of this video, of course. Uh, but until then, my name is Troublemaker, and thank you, gentlemen, for watching.